Well, hello, good morning, beautiful Capricorns. I got my own coffee back. I'm so relieved. Guys, I was so tired when I got home last night. I went to bed. I forgot about the heat in the house. I woke up this morning. It was 14 degrees. I almost froze to death. <laughs> I put on my beautiful coffee, and I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> What's going on here? No spirit saying, pull a few of these love oracles. Capricorn, what's going on in love for Capricorn? What are the messages? Love messages for Capricorn. What about beautiful Capricorns? Guys, I keep forgetting every single day to say, please like and subscribe to the channel. I have like 5.6 million views and 37.4 subscribers so it's my error as well I keep forgetting to say please like and subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel grow and with the amount of views that I get there should be way more likes way more subscriptions so please do so if you haven't done it I keep forgetting, and it really does help the channel grow know that. So I'd appreciate that if you would do that. If you could do anything, Capricorn, what would it be? The answer is dwelling in your heart, not in your mind. For the best, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And it's telling you, you know, what would you do? If you could do anything, hmm. sacred union is here. Honor your and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Wow. Soul, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find your true bliss. Yeah. It's a sacred union here. Whether you're currently in one. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. And when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. Twin flames, your passion ignites. So some of you are dealing with a twin flame union or you're about to be. A sacred, sexual, sacred twin flame. Whoa. Capricorns. You know, we were talking about this yesterday. Why is it that Capricorn has got so much jealousy and hatred around them? This could be one of the reasons why. Because, oh, you have what others do not have. That's why. Hmm. Now you either are in a twin flame situation or you're going to be. That's why. One of the reasons. Love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be careful of who you trust at this time because you are very envied. And the spirit keeps bringing it up, so be cautious. New beginnings, the key card here. Directions and adventures wait for those that are ready to let go of the past. Whether you're in a twin flame union or not, they're very difficult. But if you want this, you got to let go of what has happened in the past. And if you're entering into a new love situation, you've also got to let the past go. Well, no wonder you have so much jealousy around you. 
Mm -hmm. There's that mountain. Know that you're protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Owl, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Holy moly, Capricorn. why you have so much jealousy around you people trying to destroy come against the twin flame union that's one of the reasons the other reason is that because you are stand out above the crowd you attract a lot of attention you attract a lot of abundance mm. Everything is smooth sailing. Your light is shining brightly. Release control. It's like you're just moving forward. You're being guided forward. Surrender to the journey. Hello. Reaching your destination. You're getting there, man. Just saying. Ascending the mountain. Again, you have the mountain card twice i was talking about the himalayas yesterday on yesterday's read if you haven't seen it yet go check it out because it was talking all about climbing this mountain and now you've got the mountain card here twice keep going forward you're ascending mm -hmm. some of you are healers Healing energy flows through you. And that's another reason you're this light. And that's another reason why a lot of people will have such strong jealousy and negative energies are drawn to you because you are the light. You're a healer. Oh, Lord. Cleansing waters. Purification activates your vibrant life source. So you may need to do like a spiritual cleanse. To get these negative energies away from you. You're bringing in rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. That's why. You need to cleanse. You need to take a spiritual bath. With like. Um, maybe that's what I'm being led to say. With all this talk about the mountains. And I'm hearing the himalayas it's like himalayan salt crystals in your bath water stuff like that uh salt sea salt baths getting rid of that negative energy that keeps trying to come toward you because you're about to have rainbow blessings i'd do it it's the voyage of the heart Love flows through you and to you. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. Because it's looking like it belongs to you. Capricorn. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. Yep, yep. Yep. You got to do a spiritual cleanse, especially if you are these uh, mystic healers and people who possess great light, because obviously you do. And that is why you have so much jealousy around you. And it's important, really important. Because you're attracting all these blessings. The harder the mountain, the more you ascend. It's like you've been conditioned to go places where other people cannot go. And you're bringing in rainbow blessings. Twin flame, sacred unions. Hmm. Yeah. Flexibility and you're going to be seeing wonders. Hmm. 
and the community is trying to keep you at a standstill they do not want you ascending i'm just saying you got to release these people release this uh toxicity that seems to be attracted to you because it is your light and your blessings that they are attracted to at this time hmm yep find your inner peace you're secure hmm. you are this light you are the it's like you radiate just diligently there is forgiveness here hmm. and voyages and transformation so I'm telling you if you're a twin flame they want to transform this they want your forgiveness if this is new it's like you are releasing any past debt unforgiveness of any type to this is new for many of you and if you are not entertaining love unions, this is your own personal transformation. It doesn't matter. You are attracting all these rainbow blessings. Purity. You need to purify your energy. Because it's like attack, attack, attack. And spirit saying, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Mm. Whether that's saging, whether that's a spiritual bath, a detox bath. Yeah. Solitude is here. There's that something ready to explode here. This is potential. It's like an eruption. It's like poof. Something's about to break. Wide open. Abundance. Ooh. So just trust. This change is bringing you in miracles. Rainbow blessings. Double rainbows again. I can. You're going to be thriving. I'm just saying. I'm liking it, Capricorn. Ooh, what a powerful read. I can feel the energy off it. Very important who you trust at this time. Love surrounds you. Twin flames coming back together. This is the retrograde. Capricorns. Oh, what? First card out is karma for the past. That's you. Look at you. Abundant, secure. Someone's reaching out. Just saying. This is the karmic wheel. Oh my. This is, I'm just saying for many of you, for this to be so powerful like this, this could be past life karma coming toward you with abundance, miracles. You're going to be hearing something. This is also your past connections. It's going to do a turnaround. What the hell? Equal reciprocity here. As above, so below. I can't make it up. Someone's coming in. You keep moving forward. I think someone's coming toward you. Yes, I do. You. People are trying to stop you, but you're going forward to your wish fulfillment. I'm telling you right now. It's like, come correct. Well, they're coming. Mm. Yep. Shadow work's being done. Look at this happiness coming in. Somebody's done the shadow work. 
There is happiness here. And it's like things that have been trying to block you from going. You know what? Tell me more about this. <laughs> Working on this twin flame union, sacred unions, marriage, solid foundation. You're celebrating. You're happy. Take it as it resonates because some of you are definitely in twin flame connections and they are going to come back in. It is releasing past life karmic blessings toward you. You're celebrating. You're happy. There you go. Oh. Told you. New love or a new twin flame soulmate connection at the very minimum. And you're happy. And it's overflowing of abundance. What the heck? Yeah, but you're, you took your power back here. Keep moving forward. This is the yin to your yang. <clears throat> but you have a lot of freaking people against you. That's why it's important to cleanse. Jealousy. Here comes this emperor to work on things, fight for this angelic protection. You are this light, this mystic healer, this earth angel, this divine counterpart. Mm. They've walked away from whoever they were with, whoever they were juggling. Oh yes, and here they come. They're afraid. But you're strong. Yeah. Comes around, goes around. They've received their karma for this deception. They were trying to strategize. But you're going to have to be careful. Because you are about to be blessed with something very big. You've got to make sure they are not this uh, Seven of Swordsy person. Make sure they have done the soul work. You are abundant. You're going to be blessed with abundance. Love. Rainbow blessings. Here it is. It could be from past life karma being paid to you from spirit. It could be anything, guys. You've manifested this. Somebody is manifesting you. This is for justice. They're now, see, someone is, yeah, they're watching you. They want your attention. This has been a heartbreaking situation, a family connection that is in separation, but there is love here and there is reconciliation and you're going to have to choose what you want to fight for because something is ended but there is love here and now uh, you could still be angry you could be in fear but because this is a betrayal but the truth is this is a soulmate you're getting either a brand new soulmate, if you're not reconciling, some of you, it, I'm saying you're getting a soulmate. And someone who will be honest and speak the truth. You're going to have to trust your intuition at this time. <laughs> be your decision in love. You could have a choice of two. This is success. This is destiny. This is destined. Well, here they come. Well, they're worried. But this is what they want. Ten of Pentacles. 
You're being blessed with karmic blessings. This is a long-term, secure situation. Reconciling or new love. Or maybe you're choosing to stay single and abundant. You're being blessed. It doesn't matter what you're doing. This is the truth spirit saying, and I'm not questioning it. This is passion. This is a new connection or reconciling. Why is the swords he wants to show? I told you there's jealousy around you guys. So you are going to... That's why. That's why spirit is saying there's that mountain card again, guys. Lay down the burdens. They're trying to, like, you only have, like, that beautiful mansion that's up on the mountain. It's only, like, that's ten wands you've been carrying around. You're almost to that mansion there. It's only one more stretch to go. You're going for it. Something big. Someone is choosing to invest their time and energy into you. And it is looking like you are their only choice. I just know you're being blessed with a whole lot of abundance. Double rainbow blessings. Hello, hello. Look. Whether you're single, coupled, or not, look at these blessings that are coming toward you. The happiness. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. And giving birth to this abundance. Hello, Capricorn. Miracles. Take care, guys.